Hello everyone, this is Tony with Terrascan. Today we're going to talk through how to utilize a Visual Force page made with Sky Visual Editor on your home page. So as you can see in the center of the screen, we have a typical home page that you would get standard out of the box with Salesforce, and it could just use some additional help. Typically, the way you would modify your home page is by adding in either Visual Force or HTML components to create a much more rich and interactive look and feel for the home pages. In today's demonstration, what we're going to do is I have created a Visual Force page where we have a banner that I'm going to be displaying important company events that are coming up, such as a notification for the employees to take off their paid time before the holidays start, uh, another event reminding them that there is a company outing and then a final one reminding them of maybe a food drive that's coming out. So this is simply going to be uh, banner advertisements designed for the internal staff just to have a constant reminder of things that are coming up, upcoming events if you will, uh, for them immediately as they log in. So whenever I'm ready to deploy the page, you simply click File, Deploy, you tell it which environment you're going to, and then the page will get sent into Salesforce. And once it's deployed into Salesforce, we then can apply this to our home page. And that's going to require two steps. The first step is that we go to the setup area and create a home page component. To do that, we go to Customize, Expand the Home section, and then Home Page Components. Now, if you've never done this before, go ahead and click Custom Components, add a new one, and we're going to be choosing a Visual Force Area component. Now, the banner that I've created, the images are just slightly under 300 pixels in height, and this is going to be important for the component we're creating. Let's give this a name. I'll call this our Demo Page Component. And again, since we're using a Visual Force page, go ahead and select the Visual Force Area. Next, we want to pick that we are working with the right column. This is going to be the main body of your home page. If you choose the narrow left column, this implies that you're creating a component designed for the, the left-hand panel navigation bar that exists, and that's not what we want to do in this case. So once I have that selected, let's go ahead and find the demo page that I deployed. And again, we want to set this to 300 pixels because the images are slightly less than that. I don't want there to be any labels and I don't want there to be a scroll bar. So once I'm done, go ahead and click Save. We've completed step one. Now we need to add this custom component to our home page layout so the user can actually view it. So go ahead and click Home Page Layouts, choose the layout that the user will be viewing, and click Edit. In my particular case, we have several components that are available, but if you notice, here's the demo page component that we just created, and it is unchecked. Go ahead and check the box for your custom component and click Next. Now you're going to be asked where you would like this component to appear within the layout. I want this banner to appear at the very top of the page as a constant reminder to our users of upcoming events. Go ahead and click Save. I already have this home page layout assigned to the appropriate users. If you've never done that, go through the page assignment uh, exercise and get that to the appropriate users. Now that I'm done, I'll go ahead and click Home. And as you can see, we now have the Visual Force page with my banners spanning across the top of this area, giving them a constant reminder of upcoming events. Thanks for watching.